Hey guys, welcome to day one of the Mountain Bike Australia Downhill National Champs. Um, out here for the track walk today, it is pretty epic weather, don't know if you can tell. Uh, hopefully in this little video we're going to go for a bit of a walk down the track, see what's happening and um, yeah, going to go through a few of the features. Just standing out here on the uh, lookout at the moment, looking absolutely epic. I don't know if you can see everything that's happening on out here. But uh, gonna be a good day of racing, good day of uh, track riding. So, see how it goes. So we're at the start here. Uh, that's your start gate there. Straight sprint right down there into this tight as corner, just with those young lads uh, causing a ruckus. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty epic sprint into a sharp corner. The first 200 after coming down through that front straight, that first straight, you're coming in through this rocky section where there's actually three or four lines coming into this sharp right hand corner. It all looks pretty smooth. This outside line on the left from the start is probably a little bit loose and you're going to be skipping onto the brakes into the corner. A few guys are saying they go out wide and then skip through the inside on this corner. I think the, uh, the easier section is going to be, or well, the fastest is going to be outside left and follow that, that manicured berm. But I'm sure on the big bikes, a few guys will come out from that left through this chundery stuff and then sneak through that inside line there. after that first corner dropping into this steep rutted out rock and rooty section there are talks of going down this high line on the left there i don't think it's going to set up well in this corner so to come through and then set up wide and just ride the rough stuff's probably going to be a faster line as i mentioned up top if they go on that inside it is going to set them up pretty nice and straight for this corner and then they'll be able to row the outside but it's whether that speed is going to continue all the way through So as I said, you come into it hot and fast and then you look at these bomb holes, that's about, I don't know, four of my feet deep, which is about four feet deep if you do the math. That comes into this tight right hander. So really this first section is pretty brutal. It's all rotty and ruddy um, all the way from that those first two corners. So after that sprint, your heart rate's gonna be high. Coming into this section, from here it actually kind of smooths out a little bit. So it's just a little right hander into a, a little drop catch berm thingy and yeah it's all pretty sweet so after that flat little pedal through some corners Coming out into our first kind of bit of open bit. Um, this is all going to be about kind of finding those little gaps, finding that flow. This will be just tucking. Hopefully the sun isn't going to play too much with people's eyes. But as we come down here, you might take a moment to appreciate the epic view, you know, during practice. Or you're probably just concentrating on these loose, rough rocks. Pretty similar to what we have back at home in Eagle or Anstey's. Super loose, everything looks pretty planted though. Like these rocks should have some grip, they're pretty shaly. Hopefully it's not gonna be too many flats. But yeah, after crossing that fire road into some, so that's the forest we just came out of. In flat chat, wide open corner. Uh, not too many line choices through here, I don't think. Everyone's gonna be holding this wide left line until they've got to set up for that left corner. So as I was saying, come through, down through this rocky chundry section where this corner opens up into two lines. There's a tight left or a wide right, but looking at coming around the corner, that tight left is probably gonna set you up for a nice tight inside. 
where it's a right hand wide line. It's not really good. It's going to square you up too much, really. And then you're going to have to blow that, that berm apart. So out wide left, through the inside, and then rail that berm down there. Pretty simple for me, anyway, talking about it. So as I was saying, keep that right line. It's going to come in, open this corner up for you, where there's really not much. If you have a look at it, it's pretty tight. Straight into pretty gnarly looking wood holster drop. Nice little uh, stump there on the right hand side just to catch a pedal. Um, but yeah, nice little double drop. I suspect some of the faster boys are going to hit that turn pretty quick. And then hopefully huck off this second first drop. I'll skip that second and into that. But there is something that resembles a catch berm down there. But a beeline is definitely not an option. It is so hard to get into. Like you come out, it's almost a, what's that? Like a 120 degree turn to get into that beeline. And then it's snarled. As we can see, that double drop is pretty hectic. You can see from the marshal, that's just killing it up there, that the drop is actually uh, pretty far down. So again, just flat, wide open corner. Just getting your speed up through into some more tight trees and rocks. Where the boys are standing, it looks like there might be a couple of line choices down there. So after more roots and rocks, five different lines coming through there. And again, just funneling into another single line. So plenty of options for people riding. This main line is hectic though. It has got so many catching roots and rocks and ruts. It's gonna be absolutely mental. I feel sorry for everyone's pedals and feet, arms, legs, head, everything. More rocks. So another little uh, straight section, pretty rocky already, nothing too crazy. Then we're just coming into this nice, again, kind of semi-open area. These lights, pockets of lights and shadow are probably gonna play more part on people's riding than what the actual track is. It looks a lot gnarlier and everything because of the contrast and the shadows. So it's kind of hard to read where the actual uh, ruts are or where the shadows are, but this section's pretty fast and open, so. So after that, coming through into probably the best view of the track. It's going to be hard to kind of keep focus on where the track's actually going here because you're going to be pretty tired after those massive intervals. But it is open and the kind of track on it disappears from here over into this nice left, down this steep chute and then a sick road gap where the boys are set standing. Uh, if Connor doesn't scrub a pedal off of there, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Let's be honest. I want to see the boy uh, scrub some pedals, but he's going to absolutely froth off this track. You know, without Troy here, between him and Kai, it's going to be pretty tough to see wins. I think Jackson's actually going to have a good run at it too this year, so I'm pretty excited to see what happens. But yeah, we're wide open into this really short gap when you look at it from here. So, fire no, gap. So after coming out of that wide open section, hitting that drop that is way too short for that speed, you can see the braking bumps on the landing. It's uh, pretty epic. 
big flat wide open white turn into a couple of like little uh, compressions here. Probably gonna wanna lighten up as you come into it, pump, lighten up again, and then pump through that berm. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's gonna be pulling up and gaffing that, because that's pretty flat, but yeah, this berm looks epic. Shake down. After that wide open section on the drop, come through that corner, another nice left hand berm, which is fast. Send you to this little uh, root kicker. I don't think anyone's really gonna be rolling over it unless they're kind of scared of these rooty, rocky landing. But honestly, with the speed, you're gonna end up landing around there anyway. Um, and then it keeps pretty tame and rocky and rooty all the way down there, but it's nothing too crazy, nothing too serious. So after that straight section, it kind of opens up into this double line. Doesn't look like there's much of a double line. Probably most people are going to go on the left. But if you look at that fallen tree, there is a lip and a little bit of a landing, which is going to send you straighter into those trees. But what's after those trees is what counts, because you're going to come in super hot into a section that you probably not want to go that hot in. So maybe hitting this right-hander, slowing out, popping off in and dropping into that section, be a little bit more balanced, a little bit faster, a bit more pump. But I really want to see someone hit this. So after coming off that little right handed berm with tree gap, you actually come off this slightly uphill drop in. Bit of a landing here if you want. There is a B line on the left where you can just kind of roll through. And then a pretty steep kind of little tree drop onto the right, or you got the B line on the left. B line might actually be a little bit faster if you can hold it because it's going to open up that corners down the bottom. Um, but you're going to have to slow for the really sharp left. So as I said, you come in off that top section right up there. This is the tree drop that you're coming in towards at the bottom. That then opens up wide into these, this line here. Now there is a kind of what resembles a catch berm there, but it is rocking and blowing out. So that's why I was saying if you hit that left line, pretty pin through here, you got that extra catch berm there that might actually set you up into a straight through that rough and go through. But the speed you're going to cut by hitting that drop is, is going to, going to uh, outweigh any kind of imbalances, even things up a little bit, I guess, would be the way most people say it. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of interested in this section. Then obviously, afterwards, steep left through here. More steep, 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 steep. So as you just saw there, after that kind of rude rocky section comes and opens up through these trees here and it's pretty straight run into this booter um, i believe they're actually using the ski booter in the winter um, olympics because it just sends you so far again another wide open corner into the rocks and roots so uh it's really what all this track's about loving it so after that big booter which these guys are just about to hit as I said, big wide open corner. Look at that, sending it to moon, yeah boy! There is a kind of double compression coming in through here which you saw those guys do. I think it would be possible to gap that, but it might just uh, send you offline and a bit quick. The compression pumping might help you grip on that loose stuff down the bottom there and into that right. So after coming off that moon booter through the forest again, big kind of G out compression. Um, wouldn't want to pre-compress it or do too much through here because it's going to start to unsettle your bike as you're coming again across into another drop away um, which you could probably pre-hop a little bit a few guys have just lightening up and then pushing in through this and then another moon booter into the huge cash room which they got rumor has it that, that flying up there is in fact a rider that just sent it off the moon booter uh, up on the track, um, he is just flying. I mean, I'm not sure what the UCI thinks about these cheating rules, but anyway, the rest of the track's down here. Um, this gap is actually quite large. Uh, as you come off that fire row, you send it, but it's pretty flat. Um, it looks really steep from at the top, but once you kind of just pull up, it's just gonna send you right into this berm, and it's all angled really nicely. So the whole thing is a beautiful landing. Can't say it's going to be too hard. Thank 
again coming out of that right hander uh, left hander sorry uh, very flat and off camber as you saw with that rider now it comes into this section here where it tightens up which he just took that right line but there is a heavy left line out here there's a lot more distance for nothing really so that, that right line for I'll stay in the right line, but that dude just absolutely smashed that left line. Well, probably a bit longer around the corner, but it set him up easier to get more speed through this fast section. And then high right all the way through here. So after another kind of tame section, Rocky, into another multiple line section, left-hander, set up high, going left, go through the middle, um, or there is a high wide line on the right there that will go through the trees. But you can see there is a little sniper tree there, um, just in the center. It's probably gonna make that high right line a little bit slower, a little bit harder. In fact, there is another line that sets you up just between the middle line and the outer right. It's gonna be hard, I'm gonna to need to see a few people ride this. It is a bit of a steep hole in both the middle and the right. Uh, left line, sorry, but on the right, it's pretty smooth. So you might be able to kind of carry a bit more speed. Might even be able to cross in from the hard right into the, the left there. Um, pretty interested to see how people go through this section. Super steep, um, fast through here, real fast. It looks super and kind of gnarly and, and rutted and, and sharp and rocky, but Dude, the bikes are eating it up. The rims don't sound too happy though. Um, definitely, definitely a hard job for the rims. Rim, rim job, hard, hard job for rim, rim job. Yeah, I'm immature. Leave it at that. Yes, son. That's what looks like a pretty simple section through this ruts and then down through here. There is a few people that are coming through this, setting up high and wide, and then there is a nice little route that sends you up and over through into the next section, so it kind of misses the G out that you can't kind of see there. But this part section's fast. And that G out just there, if you're hopping over it, see. So as I was saying, coming through that rutted section, that's the G out there, which she just hit real hard. It's kind of unsettling you through that next section, unless you can get the bike reel down. Woo! So as I was saying, you come through, this is old man Harry Bush, just absolutely gunning it. Pulls up, straight through. So much smoother and faster. Getting unsettled through this is just gonna be After that big rocky ruddy section. I'm surprised they haven't painted this guy yellow because yeah, she's pretty hidden and it's definitely a pedal snagger. Just that little guy there. Anyway. So after that section, just big, wide open, through the flat. Love to see a speed trap. So after coming down that steep section, there's a bit of a G out hole here. But as some of the young lads just did on the far right hand side of the track as you come down, there's this nice little rooty section. If you can kind of hop or skip over that hole just there, it's going to send you a lot faster out there. So after that fire road section, they're coming through. Super steep kind of kicker here. They're soaking it up and then through there. There is an outside line on the right here, but everyone seems to be holding that left. I think it's just that setup point for that and getting through there. Um, yeah. so sick. That's it. <laughs> that was sick. 
Yeah, son. Yoo-hoo-hoo! Those two are absolutely dialed. They're gonna be high in the standings for today, that's for sure. That's it, yoo -hoo -hoo. I can love this sport, look at this track, it's absolutely epic. These guys are absolutely flying. And practice is going off, can't wait to see what race day holds for us. After that epic section, again, steep into a multi-line choice corner. Uh, honestly, either or, it's gonna be the same. Let's just try to come through, pretty chill. Not really worrying about too much. If you can cross up a little bit earlier from that outside line, might work. Save a bit of time. Oh, didn't even see that line. That is sick. If you can hit that fast, then you're dialed for sure. Yes, son. Yep, 100%. So as you just saw then, not even riders are able to see all these lines uh, popping up just because of the shadows, I reckon. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell what is a line and, and where the ruts are just because of these shadows. The light is playing tricks on them. If you guys are just wondering whether they should go the mirrored lens, clear lenses. So, how you doing? There goes Rory from the Attends team. Lovely dude, Jess. Sick. So. So got a bit of a plunge drop just here. It's about probably four foot. There is a little bit of a line. If you can just see on the left there that you roll down the roots and kind of roll through it. Or you can just plump off it. It's pretty simple. Nice little rooty landing. Um, it's just keeping light over these bumps and then catch berm and more. So as you can see, the theme of this track again, wide open fire road, fire road, nothing. And then another steep shoot. So as they come through this wooded section, been through a bit, a couple of multi high lines, low lines, just everything. But honestly, all this bottom section seems like a uh, race line is the main line. So nothing too crazy going on down here. So as they come out of the forest, it's gonna hit this little booter, tiny little road gap. With the speed they're hitting it at, super easy. Just a little bit of pull up wide open again into some big berms. Um, so it's pretty good. A little bridge jump, just wide flat open. Hopefully a bit of a pride from all the, the rough stuff up the top. Um. Yeah, pretty fast little corner um, coming into this. There's like a little whale tail jump, which you can either hit far on the left, uh, kind of scrub it off, but it is sending riders a little bit awkward. Um, they're going to have to kind of redirect their bike a little bit midair, and they're kind of getting crossed up on the road. Whereas if you turn early and you come in centre, just like those guys, it sends you quite straight. And then as you can see, there is a straight line straight through the, the centre there, completely missing those berms. Um, sick little section. Last kind of final straight here. Uh, yeah, three options coming in. Most of the fast guys going straight across, straight through the center like that guy's there. And then right nice and fast right around this corner uh, where there's a little kind of scrub jump, a little bit of a speed pump, and then one of the biggest hucks of your life. So um, super cool finish right to the end there with a big uh, kind of split. There's that outside line. Sets up a bit wider, gets you in through that corner. And this is that dead straight line where you just do that. Like that really, I mean, it's pretty easy, I guess, from watching. Here's a couple more boys just coming through. 
all through that center line it sends you a little bit nicer you do have time to kind of open up wide and then pop through in that burn there and it is sick It is really about hitting that this high part of the berm, shooting out of it and pumping through. If you pump, you get that extra little whoa! You get that extra little bit of uh, speed coming into that second bump right there, and then you're going to be able to gap that harder. See, just pop up over and then send it down the bottom there. Sick. So there we have it, that was the end of day one. That's my Ben Cathro impression uh, for about 20 minutes. Hopefully that wasn't too much for you guys. Um, as you saw in some of the footage that was taken later in the day, uh, a lot of lines have kind of been blown out and opened up. Uh, catch berms are kind of, get, kind of getting made um, with the dust kind of piling where people are riding. Um, gonna go focus on a few of those kind of multi-line options and a few other kind of technical spots tomorrow um, bring you through some of the fast guys uh, just to give you an idea of, of what take today uh, compiled of was about 15 to 18 thousand steps 20 k's of riding uh, three shuttle buses um, a lot of coke a cola and then a lot of water as well um, huge shout out to Josh Carlson for doing the interview and uh, all the other riders for putting up with me today um, see you tomorrow